Okay, everyone. Today, um, I have a special guest over in the corner. Um, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, Jess is here right now. However, she's keeping quiet to make me look like an idiot. She just gave me the middle finger. Shut up, other tablet. Um, she's trying not to laugh right now, but I know for a fact she's gonna laugh. You guys may hear a chuckle. It's adorable. She's giving me the middle finger again. Okay, so today, since Jess is here, and by the way, it's like 5 a.m. and she came here early, um, I messaged her saying I needed to hang out because, uh, I'm upset about a Vic Mignogna thing that I just posted, and yeah, so I told her to come over. I don't know what she's doing over there. Um, she did like that kind of thing. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so basically, <laughs> Jess and I always talk about. Shut up! I can see you trying to laugh. If you're gonna laugh, laugh or don't. Whatever. Um, so. <laughs> I always say that if I were a father, I'd be a, one hell of a father. I'd be an amazing guy for, for kids. Because I've worked with kids. She's going like this. Shut up. Um, shut up. She's not talking, but shut up. <laughs> she just did the thing. Anyways. Um, so anyways. Screw you. Uh... So yeah, um, since I always say I'm gonna be, I would be an amazing father. Whoa, my hair's poofy. Oh, screw you! I didn't understand what she was doing. She was going like, I'm like, no. Anyways, shut up. <laughs> shut up! I can see her going. Okay, I'm gonna stop narrating what she's doing because she's being a bum. Um, yeah, she. I hope you guys can hear her chuckle because if she chuckles, I'm gonna be very happy. Um, so since I've worked with kids at a camp and everything, and I'm honestly a kid at heart, like I'm already. Don't judge me, Jess. I got floofy hair. Nice catch. Um, she wanted me to toss the comb. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, um, so since I'd be an amazing father, she wanted me to prove it. So she brought over a bunch of questions that, of course, she didn't write down herself, so she had me write them down. Screw you. Uh, <laughs> but I ended up uh, basically having them written down because... This is how I'd prove if I'm uh, if I'd be a good father, and we'll see. But basically, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be answering like the the kids like childish questions, and like they're the questions like, "Hey, Dad, why am I not able to do this, or why am I supposed to do this, or stuff like that, or what is that kind of thing?" You know what I mean? Um, you'll see what I mean. But and I'm supposed to answer them. There's two rules. I have to answer them so that if I were a pre impressionable ch child, I'd most likely believe it or at least not do what I'm not supposed to do, I guess, or do what I'm supposed to do. Or, oh, and the other thing I have to do is I have to make it so that it's not complete another bullshit. <laughs> Basically, I can swear if I want. Um, you swear all the time, so screw you. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not yelling at you guys, you guys, I'm yelling at her. Um, I shouldn't yell at her, but anyways. Uh, if you're gonna speak, you, then I hope you yell at me, because I want them to see how ruthless you are. Um, I'm sorry guys, she's behind a lamp. Not behind a lamp, but she's somewhat hidden by a lamp. No. 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 I don't even know what she was doing. She was just doing random like kind of stuff. Anyways. 
and tune her out. Um, so basically the rules are that I have to make it so it's not a complete lie. It has to have some truth or reality in the answer. Um, so yeah. Um, but what's cool is that, uh, there is one, one in here that is, uh, it's for a female only. And if I answer that one, cause she knows that I'm going to hate it, then I get bonus points. And by that, I mean, she's probably not going to beat me up later. Uh, and it's only for like, if I had a little girl who's like my own daughter and she's asking me this question because oh boy, is it a weird one. Um, and I tell her, no, I'm not going to answer it. I'm just going to go, go ask your mother. Anyways. Oh, and by the way, if I pass, if I can't think of an answer within a few seconds, I have to say, go ask your mother. That's basically me surrendering and saying, I don't know. Go ask her. Um, go ask her for the, for the complete and utter bullshittery. Um, anyways. The first one, actually, by the way, I've skimmed through these, but I haven't really thought too much about them. So hopefully I don't sound like I'm making these up on the spot and also like already thought about them because I have like I think of them for a few seconds and I'm just done like I, I don't put too much thought into them but um for the most part and I, we, I just got this list like 10 minutes ago because she came over like 10 minutes ago um anyways why can't I eat my pet goldfish I got this one I got this one um you see gold is toxic you in other words you can't eat gold it's more valuable if you keep it and let it grow over time. You see, if you're going to have a goldfish, you got to let it live as long as possible. Because then it's worth more over time. The value goes up. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> now go to bed. No, <laughs> so that's one. So like, so, she's not even looking at me. Screw you. No, screw you. No, screw you. Um, okay, so the second one is, oh, I didn't, okay, I said what I darkness. What is darkness? Um, come on, I don't want to tell you to go ask your mother. Come on, let me answer this one. Um, darkness is this thing where it it's stressful, be and it, it, it's scary, because it's, it's where all, like, all happiness tends to kind of fade out. You gotta be... I'm giving up on this one. I don't want to make it sound dark for a child. Um, if it was a shadow, then I'd know what that is. I would say, that's your best friend. They walk around you and they're kind of part of you. If it's if he's not there, then it just means that he's... He's hanging out in the heavens with the other light folk. In other words, he... In other words, the light is, uh... Not exactly hitting the right angle for him to be okay, visible. So he's still, he's kind of hidden. Anyways. Um, oh, darkness, though, I don't know the answer to that. So go ask your mother. Um, <laughs> why can't I drink my pee? Jess, only you would think of this one. I don't even think a kid would ask this. They'd probably just do it and then spit it back out and say, that's gross. <sighs> What is what is the uh, the child? What what do children come to? You know. I see her moving in the background, but I'm. I looked up. Crap. I was gonna say I'm not gonna look at her. Um. Oh, by the way, I'm not stalling either. I was legit like freaking out because I, or not freaking. Out, I was uh, getting distracted. See, I'm getting distracted with what I'm saying too. Um. So why can't I drink my pee? I got it. So you can't drink your pee because it's against the rules. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, no, you can't drink your pee because it because you're not supposed to. The pee itself doesn't want to be drank because it's the worst letter in the alphabet. It would rather go down the toilet because that's where it loves to be. P loves to be in the C. P B C. Get it? Letters. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. No, I'm kidding. But I was gonna add the like something about yellow snow in there. By the way, that was like complete another horribleness. 
Um, but it was it was true because you're supposed to pee in the toilet, not in the snow or outside or in your mouth. Oh, that's actually kind of gross. Anyways, um, not kind of. It is gross. Sorry for any of you who might have that kind of like kinks out there. Ugh. I personally don't enjoy it. So, um, screw you. Just She's just like, Whoosh. screw it. I don't know what she's doing over there. She's just like, Um, where do babies come from? This is one I actually have thought of in the past and I've actually like made up the most crappiest answer ever. Let's get ready for this one because I've already said this one a million times to friends when they ask me this one or when I see those commercials or whatever. Um, space baby commercials. I love those. But anyways, um, so when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much. They they go out shopping at a place like Toys R Us. You know what Toys R Us is, right? Well, they go out to a place called Uterus. And the daddy is normally the one who has to go there. What he does is he goes inside, inside and blows his load of money. <laughs> and suddenly, a baby will appear and they'll give them the baby. The baby goes home with them after a few years. Or a few, sorry, a few months. And... That's how you get a baby. <laughs> Don't ask. That was like the weirdest answer I ever had to answer out of like randomness. And believe it or not, I had friends who like, we used to discuss this kind of thing about like how like the, the those old commercials with like the just like the awkward parental situations. We would always try and like mock or mock them. I don't watch much TV anymore, but back then we were obsessed with that stuff. Um, commercials were always funny to us. Uh, but that was my answer every time. You know Toys R Us, right? Well, you see, there's this place called Uterus. Get it? Uterus. And then the blow and the load of money. You guys get what that is. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> why did that guy have ketchup in him? So I'm guessing this has to do with like a murder kind of thing when someone's stabbed or whatever. That was fun. You see... People who have ketchup in them, it just means that that they should eat less junk food. You see, it's just not healthy. So in order to let out... No, I'm not going to say that because they're going to stab themselves. No. <laughs> Basically, they eat too many burgers and they get the ketchup to build up. However, kids are immune to this. So be careful because if you ever cut yourself, that ketchup is not supposed to come out. It's not false because people, if they eat too much burgers, it, there is too much probably ketchup in their blood. I don't know. Um, well, this is one that my parents actually told me. I'm going to give you this answer. Or my, was it my parents? My parents or my grandparents used to say, I don't remember. But why do I have to say no to candy from people I don't know? Now, the answer to this is that I was given as a kid, which I'm actually going to copy because I like this one. Um, <laughs> there's no rule saying I can't copy. Um... The answer to this one is, um, you see, if their child, if a child is refuses to take candy from someone they don't know, it's a parent, it's a parent's rule that the parents are supposed to reward the kid with candy afterwards. But the candy that they get to eat is much better, and tastes much better from the complete and utter success of being able to refuse someone else's candy. You see, you should always accept candy from family, because they know what you like. So, as the rule states, they have to give you whatever candy you want. That was a rule I was actually given as a kid. Oh boy, did I like it. Sadly, no one ever came and asked me if I wanted candy. She's just doing like, I'm guessing she's thinking of like the, I like, or I was, I want candy. Do, 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 do. I want candy. So you're just like. Anyways. Don't copy my dance moves. I'm the one who dances horribly. She's doing that. 
not like dabbing, but she's doing like the, the like partial dabs. Anyways. Um, so this is, this is the female question. So if I had a daughter and this was asked of me, I'd immediately go, go ask your mother. Why do I have a belly button down there? And Jess, when she was telling me to do this, she said down there. Go ask your mother. Yeah. And then this is one that I actually added in. Because I thought it would be funny. And I actually, believe it or not, um, my friends and I used to joke around like this. Why do you and Mommy both have beards? So the answer to this one is, um, I believe that this is one that I've actually already thought of in the past. So this one I have done. Oh, oh screw you over there. Um, screw you. Uh, she was going, hmm, poor baby. Screw you, I'm not a baby. I'm a fuck you. Um, <laughs> see, my tablet agrees. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up to your tablet, though. Um, anyways. Now, the answer that I always used to say to this, because this is one I actually used to joke around about it again, um, was, uh, well, you see, Mommy and Daddy wanted to match. So in order to be more, more like each other and to seem like we're more together... We ended up both growing beards. And a few other things. <laughs> Just don't go into detail on the rest. <laughs> um, <laughs> whew. That was actually that was actually a lot of fun. I'm gonna have to do this again later. Um, thank you, Jess, for being in the background. Oh, she didn't chuckle. Jess Give us a chuckle. Give us a chuckle. Do do it. Do it. What are you doing? I don't know what motion she's doing right now, but it's not a chuckle. So chuckle! No. What the? She put her hand up behind the lamp and slowly raised the middle finger past the, uh, the lampshade. But it's cute when she chuckles. Throw it at me. Bring it. I'm not even actually. I'm not actually gonna risk it. I know she will. She she went like. She didn't throw it though. Just in case. Pillow defense. Um. Just in case she does throw it at me, which I almost can guarantee that she will. Um. She has my comb still and it has a pointy uh, thing to it. Um. For anyone out there. My pillow's like bending, so it's like, ow. Just like something else I know. Oh, I wasn't talking about. Oh, don't talk about my saggy, you know what. Oh, shit. A few more defense. What else can I defend myself with? Naked! Naked defense! <laughs> Through my only shield. Um. Oh, look at my hallway. That's my hallway. Stop looking at my hallway. My camera just wanted to tilt it. Um, anyway, I'm going to end this video here before she throws them in at me and it, it pokes out my eyes. Actually, I'm going to do this. Um, in case she throws that, because she's, she's, I know if in fact she's going to throw something at me later. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I'm actually scared for my life. Um, I'm going to end this video here before she pokes out my eye or hits me in the face and makes me bleed. Um, just did something I'm not even going to be able to show on camera. Or even, like, demonstrate on camera. She poked the... <laughs> she poked the comb, like, the base of the comb, so, like, not... It's basically like this... Don't. <laughs> basically, like, a, it was like this, this pen where it's, like, rounded and it comes to a point. Um, she went like this, she's like... Yeah, anyways. Um, oh, I almost threw a pen at you. That would have not been good. Um, I didn't even throw the comb at you. I threw it at the, the, the bag of clothes next to you. So don't, don't, 
don't, don't, don't, don't, don't. Um, uh, bye everyone. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, send help. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> She's actually scaring me. Please don't. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, okay, bye everyone.